In the last episode, I completed the engine installation. This episode, we're working on the cockpit, taking out the old teak cockpit combings and replacing with foam and fiberglass. After a little sanding, I applied some epoxy putty and then stuck on the core cell closed cell foam pieces. corners needed to be rounded a bit so I stuck on strips of foam and then shaped them with the sander. And then four layers of fiberglass. I say that like it was nothing, but it was 50 hours just to lay up the fiberglass. And there were a few boo-boos. Robert Pierce joined me one day. He's got a Chrysler Mutineer 15 that needed a mass compression post fabricated, so he made one out of fiberglass here at the dry dock. And then he helped me mold some cockpit cushion retaining pad eyes. Years ago I had some tabs sewn into Cueva's cockpit cushions to help hold them on the seats and put corresponding uh, pad eyes, small pad eyes, in the teak combings. So instead of making holes in the new fiberglass, I wanted to manufacture some fiberglass loops instead. We use this old mop head and cut off strings to the right length. Uh, they were cotton strings, so it worked better than the fiberglass rope that I had. Soak the strings in the epoxy and then put them up in place. The ones in the corner here, I couldn't get a form in the corner, so it was just sort of free form. For the others, I looped the string over a wooden dowel with wax paper taped to it as a form. A little shaping with the Dremel and a final sealing coat which revealed its inner mop head. Next up was applying polyester fairing compound. And all the while, the work was watched over silently by the totems of the god Bondo. The polyester filler fills in the low spots and any pattern that's printing through from the fiberglass cloth. Then it was time to put on the first coat of epoxy primer coat. This stuff is so thin that it's probably going to take about five coats of primer. Next up, more rain. Well, that's about it for this episode. 
I am on my way out to Hawaii now to sail a little Venture 17 on Kaneohe Bay and work on the launch and recovery apparatus on the dock for the Venture 17 and that's going to involve making some modifications to the trailer and mounting the trailer on the dock. So the next video is going to be another tropical distraction. See you then!